All right. So here is an update on the uh, portal port. I am working on the DMake for Nintendo 64. Um, so there's not a lot of new things. You'll notice there's this cube here. Well, that's pretty much all I've done, but I've started on the physics, which t could turn out to be the thing that kills this project. Um, it's been a lot more work than I was originally anticipating, and it could potentially be more p than the N64 could handle at a decent frame rate, but I will take those problems one at a time and see how far I can get this. But as you can see, I have a cube. I can pick the cube up and drop it, and it reacts. That was really bad. Let me do that one more time. There we go. It kind of bounces and reacts as you would expect. And you can see the cube through the portal there. Um, so, yeah, another little step. Um, that, that bar on the top, you may be wondering what that is. That's the amount of CPU time being used to do the physics. Uh, the little green is how much time is being used. The black is is how much I have, and you know, again, it doesn't look like much right now, but it's because I'm only colliding against a single plane. Uh, if I if I walk outside, it does not collide at all with the walls. So um, once I add more collision in, that bar is going to fill up a lot more, <clears throat> and the time this the CPU spends accessing the RAM that'll slow down the graphics as well because the GPU is sharing that same RAM bus and so um, just because that bar is tiny does not mean I'm good in terms of performance there but we'll see we'll see uh, I don't know how far this is gonna make it if it ends up being really slow I might have to simplify the physics system substantially maybe the box doesn't rotate I mean that would be more true to N64 games anyway but I'll wait till I get there before trying to solve that problem.